Hi everyone, Carol from Carol's Vintage Treasures and I'm here today at Dollar Tree to share with you all the fall and Halloween decor they have out today. There are a lot of crafting supplies here. Anything you'd want to paint, hang out on your door, make little projects out of. There's some glittery spiders down here. All kinds of great things. There's uh, bottle tree brushes over here that look like candy corn. That would be cute in a display. And everything over here looked to be $1.25. I didn't see any signs to say, that said otherwise. There are glittery bats. All kinds of cool stuff that you can Go ahead and make Halloween decorations out of garlands, little, you know, anything you want to do, like a Halloween wreath. There's some candy bags over here. And there's some styrofoam skulls over there. There's some jack o' lantern carving tools. There's some pumpkins, all kinds of things that you can put on display. Over here they had some back to school items. That was a cute little corgi notebook. Anything you need for back to school, they've got the artificial flowers over here, lots of fall colors. And over here they have some signs along with some little buckets for summer. Taking a closer look at the signs here, they're really cute. Happy Halloween. Enter if you dare. All kinds of witches. And they have empty racks, so they're putting more stuff out. There's some trick-or-treat bags. I found a sign here I could add to my collection <laughs> by my door so the little kids don't knock. But they haven't been doing that, the knock and run thing lately. So maybe I don't even need to put those out. I've been lucky enough to get my deliveries um, as they come. And they're leaving me alone there too, so I think I'm going to be okay. I'll hang on to those little yard things I bought till after I move. There's some Day of the Dead items. Over here we have some more decorations that you can make things out of. Little signs and wreaths and things like that. There's some paint some leaves, all kinds of things here that you can decorate and put around your house or on your door. Some metal buckets. There's some little hay bales and some scarecrows. <clears throat> Excuse me. All kinds of fall foliage, foliage, <laughs> I can't say that. Fall artificial plants, how about that? <laughs> My mouth's not working right now. Yeah, there were a lot of people in the store. I was trying to dodge. Uh, a lot of people look at you funny when you're recording. There's my cheese popcorn. If you've been watching a while, you know I have to get that. It's very good. Give it a try if you haven't. There's some more back to school items, some backpacks. Looking at more of the Halloween items here. There's some cute little ghosts and cats and skeletons. More jack-o'-lanterns. All kinds of stuff. Gnomes. They have to incorporate the gnomes into the holiday. 
all kinds of signs. Anything you would need over here for a dollar twenty-five. Pretty good deal. And those were cute up there. The little decals, signs. If you want to decorate for Halloween, it's all there. That was a hummingbird feeder. I was thinking about getting that, but I think I want to get a nicer one. That one was kind of flimsy. Plus, there's no place to hang things out on my patio, and I don't want to put nails out into the concrete there. So, I'm going to wait a while on things like that. I'm going to try to move at the um, end of February. So... Lots of, we're getting into the regular stuff now, so the party items. There's tissue paper. I did grab some of that for my um, shipping. Sometimes I use it in my packages to make things look a little nicer. I decided just to get the white tissue paper. And they've got They've got colored stuff there, too, and they've got gift wrap. There's more party wear. All kinds of different colors, and there's gift bags. This is where I usually come for my gift bags. So, all kinds of stuff here. Those were little containers to put things in. They got containers and boxes, all kinds of party goods, signs. There's more bags over there. Getting into the cleaning products. I really didn't need too much over here. I'm pretty stocked up. I was looking for some dishwasher detergent. Those are the wipes I like to use. I'm stocked up on those though. And looking over here, I decided to get some toilet bowl cleaner. Those little ones don't last very long, so I was looking for something else. I wanted to try this and see how it works. It's a bigger bottle. And still looking for my dishwasher detergent. Somebody left some skulls over there. <laughs> Just trying to see what kind of cleaners they have here. And I think I finally found it here, but that box was open, so I was searching for another box and grabbed it. That's usually what I use. It works pretty well. And these large pieces of poster board, like foam board, are good for using as backdrops when you take your photos. I already had some of those, though. Lots of markers and notebooks. This is usually a good place to come for office supplies. There's some pencil sharpeners and some pencils. And we're getting into the candles and things of that sort over here. All kinds of colorful candles, anything you would need. And I usually grab some of those for monsoon season because we can have power outages sometimes. But I had quite a few of them already, so I didn't get any today. There's some vases. They've got clear ones and colored ones. 
lots of ribbon. And there's stuff to make wreaths and colorful little floral things there. There's some scrapbooking supplies. I don't think scrapbooking is as popular as it once was. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I know I can get scrapbooking supplies in my store and they just sit there. So I usually don't pick those up. And on Etsy you can sell supplies as well as vintage things. So if you're out thrifting and you find some good deals on supplies, you can put those in your store too. There are some videos I was kind of checking out. Didn't see anything really good there. And I am moving along. They had some um, phone supplies there, cell phone supplies. And there's some automotive supplies. Will come in handy when I get my car. <laughs> I am looking right now, so hopefully that will be soon. It's kind of scary looking for a car when you're on your own. You just don't want to get ripped off by a dealership or an individual. Oh, we're getting into the pet supplies. Looking over here, she's got plenty of toys. She's got two big toy boxes full right now. So I did not get any, but I did get her a little treat. She likes these little bones. And there is nothing long lasting for her. She just gobbles it right up. <laughs> and we're going into the air fresheners. I did pick a couple of couple of these up. I like to have them in my apartment. Sometimes you're oblivious to the smells. <clears throat> when you have a dog, um, then I have people coming in here and going, what's that smell <laughs> that I don't even smell? So I usually have a couple of those in the apartment. Lots of ghosts. <clears throat> These were like lighted things that you could buy. They have uh, Halloween on their end caps also. Here we're getting into the shipping supplies. Lots of stuff there. Well, if you have homeschooling, you can buy your supplies here. Lots of paper and pens, markers, things of that sort. I do get boxes here for shipping, but I didn't see any of the boxes I normally get. And I'm pretty stocked up on everything. Yeah, pencil pouches down there. I did get one of these um, card holders for my desk. I have a new desk that I set up. It's a corner desk. I'm going to put that there for my business cards. I need to get new ones made up too, so I'm probably going to do that on Vistaprint. They are pretty inexpensive there. Lots of envelopes. <clears throat> little decals and stuff you can decorate with. There's some picture frames. Just kind of giving you a look of what's over here. There's more craft supplies. Paints. They've got um, all kinds of stuff. If you're a starving artist, good place to get your paint supplies. I used to have a Girl Scout troop and I was always having to get art supplies. This would be a good place to pick those up. But my babies are all grown up. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Here we're going through, I was kind of looking at the nail polish because I want to start polishing my nails, but I've got a bunch of it left over from those Ipsy bags. I'm going to try to use that first. 
And they got all kinds of hair stuff over here. And makeup. This is where I'll usually pick up my eyeshadow and my eyeliner, but I've got a lot of that. And moving on, they've got their soap and body lotions and shavers. It's a good thing, place to pick things up. A little bit cheaper than the than Target or Walmart, places like that. I was looking at the facial masks, but I usually get those at Big Lots. They have them for a dollar. And I like the ones they have there. They've got the collagen in them and things like that. There's some... I think those were shampoos and body washes. There's some hair dealy bops, hair rollers. I don't do hair rollers. I did that when I was a kid and I hated it. <laughs> did any of you have to sleep in hair rollers when you were a kid? <laughs> I just embrace straight hair or I'll use a curling iron or whatever. Over here we've got the feminine hygiene. I was noticing they had pregnancy tests and drug tests up here. That was interesting. We've got deodorants. All kinds of stuff. Just kind of showing you what they had over here. Q-tips. There were a lot of people in the aisles. I was trying to dodge people. <laughs> ah, here's your toothpaste and toothbrushes. I did get my Sonic Care toothbrush working again with the heads I got in that mystery box from Melissa. So thank you, Melissa. I'm getting some batteries. I needed to get double a uh, triple A because I got double A by mistake last time. And I need those for my remote. Here we're getting into some glassware. I thought that was pretty. With the lemons on it. And they've got some canned goods over here. Dollar Tree is a good place to get your groceries. If you're on a budget, I have done that many times. Here we got bowls. I do have some of those bowls. They're pretty nice. I've got the blue turquoise colored plates and bowls in my apartment and they work really well. I was kind of looking for a wat for a uh, bottle to put in my lunchbox because I want to start bringing <clears throat> some green tea with me. And I did find this one. I ended up putting it back because it looked like it would have leaked. And I got a different one off camera. I can show you that in my haul. But I did have this in my cart for a little while. Moving around, lots of dishes and plastics. And they have some more food here, some cookies and crackers. Little desserts. We've got all kinds of stuff in this store. It's a pretty big store. It's pretty close to my home, my apartment too, so it's good. Uh, we got organized organization stuff here. I use those dish pans there for sorting uh, jewelry. Those work pretty well. Here we got some toilet paper, Kleenex. I did get a couple of boxes. I was looking for the stuff that did not have the scent or the aloe on them. When I'm sneezing, I just want a tissue. I don't want all that stuff. <laughs> 
So I did find some Scotties up here. I went ahead and got those. And just kind of stocking up with what I usually use here. Over here we got trash bags. I think I did get the big black ones I normally get. Those are good for cleaning out stuff. I still have a few things I need to clean out and get rid of. Here's some more of these uh, water bottles. Just kind of looking through to see if there's something better. I did need some Reynolds wraps, so I grabbed that. I like that better than the cheap stuff. It's just easier for me to use, and I don't have to use a lot of it. I wanted to stock up in dish towels because I don't have very many. So I'm kind of looking through to grab a few of these. I decided to get these with the lemons on them. Those were pretty. And I'm also going to get these up here with the wine bottles. thought those were pretty nice. Those are the stove covers I got on my stove. I have a short on that if you want to see how I redid my stove. I was trying to look for the ones that were not microfibery. <laughs> I don't like those. That was a cute one with the coffee on it. And I, I ended up getting a coaster for my desk. I put the one I got back because I found another one on a different aisle that I liked better. And I think this one said it's a good day for a great day. I went ahead and got that, but I ended up putting it back for the other one. I just wanted something to sit on my desk so I don't ruin the new finish. It's a really nice corner desk. I put it together the other day and it works really well. I wanted to get some matches because I don't have any. In monsoon season, sometimes we have uh, power outages, so I wanted to make sure I had some of those. We probably got through the end of August probably mid-September till we have, you know, we're out of the monsoon season. I'm just kind of looking around here. There's some cardinal things. Cardinals are really big here in Arizona. Just looking around at the gadgets. They have a lot of measuring cups and spoons, spatulas, and their stuff is pretty good. I usually use that. It's a good way to save a little money. They're very expensive in the regular stores. I was looking for toothpicks because I use those when I'm baking to make sure things are done. Um, and I'm kind of, I didn't want those in the single, in the bags. I just wanted a box of them. And I did end up finding them here. So, threw those in the cart. I'm going back over. I'm almost done here. I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's anything else I need. We're in the candy aisle. Any kind of candy you want. I'm trying to be good that, though I, I put on a little bit of weight. Last time I went to the doctor, it was just a couple of pounds, but I'm trying to recognize that so I don't put on more and eat a little bit healthier. 
I did decide to get some popcorn. It's good to have in the house just in case you want a snack. Going through the aisles to see if there's anything else I need. And I think this is the last aisle I end up going down. We're getting toward the end of the video here. It's a good place to buy spices and things like that if you need it. But that's about it for this video. I hope you had a good time shopping with me. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. It lets me know you want to see more shopping videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Comment down below and let me know what you thought or just say hello. I love hearing from you. If you're out shopping, I hope you find all the bargains you're looking for. Have a great day and I will see you in the next one.